Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bars and tone screen. Now this isn't just some fun random assortment of colors, this is actually a standard screen designed by the Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineering to help calibrate the colors and audio of screens and films. However, you might see it more commonly used on YouTube and things like that as a funny little blooper transition. Now I'm not here to scoff at what the right and the wrong or proper uses of this are. I'm just going to show you where to find it and how to make it in Premiere and how to make it your own if you want to use it in a funny way. So the cool thing is this is actually a built-in feature in Premiere and you can find it if you go to project and then go to file, new, bars and tone. Now there's a few settings you can adjust here like the size of it and the pixel aspect ratio. But I'm just going to leave everything as default and press OK and you should see a new bars and tone media file pop up in your project bin. And this just gives you a five second little clip with the bars and color tone. So the proper use for this for filmmakers is to put this at the front of things to calibrate the screen for anyone that's trying to calibrate it. If we're not a filmmaker and we're just making a fun little video for YouTube, I'm going to show you how to add some little noisy and glitchy effects to it or just keep it as is. So if you want, you can just shrink this down and use it as a one second little clip if you want to cut between clips. Don't go too crazy with it. It can get annoying, to be honest. However, another cool thing you can do is go to your effects panel and you can actually add effects onto this standard bars and tone. So you can open up the video effects and you can do things like open up the noise and grain folder and maybe add some noise on there just to kind of mess and muddy things up, make it like the TV is messing up. And you can also add, let's say, a distort filter like wave warp add that on there and then increase the size of the wave height maybe and turn the pinning on all edges so you don't get any of that black bar. I'll set the wave type to noise to make it even more grainy and now you have kind of like a messed up television screen effect if you want it. Keep in mind that if you didn't want one or the other you could take each of these tracks separately. So if I just wanted the tone and I didn't want the bars I could delete it or make it not visible or if I didn't want the tone and I just wanted the bars I could do the same thing. So that's the bars and tone feature. It's built in right into Premiere. It's much more simple than you might think. And you can add effects on there if you want to use it in a fun blooper transition type of way. Or you can study the proper way to use it now that you know about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it and check out some of my other Premiere Pro tutorials in the playlist on my channel. If you're new, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all types of new creative related videos. And follow me on social media like Instagram and Twitter at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.